Hello and welcome back to Casual Gastronomy. It is fall here in Illinois and I really am not sure what happened to summer. I don't remember summer actually happening, but I see the leaves changing outside, so I know it must be fall. And if it's fall, that means that it's time for one of our favorite desserts. Even though we're not big dessert people, we really do like apple cider donuts. <laughs> I have really fond memories growing up and going to the apple orchard with my family and after apple picking we would always get, without fail, warm apple cider and apple cider donuts and that was my favorite part. For me, I remember going up to the Shawan Gunk Ridge, doing some bouldering for the day and at the end we would head down to this little farm at the base of the mountain and pick up apple cider donuts to celebrate our success or console our failure. We know it's most common for people to get apple cider donuts at the farmer's market or at an apple orchard like how I did, but we haven't really heard of people recreating them at home, so we're excited to try and recreate these donuts from scratch in our own kitchen. But before we get started, we would like to ask you sincerely and humbly to please, please press the like button. We would just genuinely appreciate it so much, it would mean the world to us. And also the subscribe button, and also share the video too. That's all we ask. It really does help out the channel, so thank you so much. Without further ado, let's go make some donuts! Start by bringing three cups of apple cider and two cinnamon sticks up to a simmer. Then lower the heat and let it reduce until it becomes thick and syrupy. This took us about an hour. Once it's thick, remove it from the pot and don't forget to discard of the cinnamon sticks. Combine it with half a cup of apple butter, half a cup of buttermilk, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then set the mixture aside. Next, in a large bowl, mix together three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon plus two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Then, in a separate bowl, beat together six tablespoons of room temperature butter with half a cup of maple syrup. Since we substituted sugar with maple syrup, the mixture won't look like a normal whipped butter mixture, but that's okay because it'll come together in the end. Once that mixture is well blended, beat in two eggs one at a time. Then slowly beat in the dry ingredients and the cider mixture little by little, alternating as you beat. The dough will be very soft and sticky. Next, coat a parchment lined baking sheet very liberally with flour. Then, scrape your dough out onto the sheet. Generously dust the top of your dough with flour, then press it out with your hands until it's about three quarters of an inch thick. Once it's evenly pressed out, cover it with plastic and let it rest for about three hours or overnight. While your dough is resting, you can mix together a half cup of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon to coat the donuts once they're finished. Once your dough is rested, remove the plastic and cut out as many three and a quarter inch rounds as you can, then cut out one and a quarter inch rounds from the center of those to form the donut holes. We didn't have cookie cutters big enough for our donuts, so we just used this pineapple slicer and it worked pretty well. Also, keep a little bowl of flour nearby to dip your cutter into it between each donut to keep the cutter from sticking. Now it's time to fry. Gently transfer your donuts to a pot filled with three inches of oil at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We used tallow because of the neutral flavor and high smoke point. Let your donuts and donut holes fry until they're deep golden brown.
Then, transfer them to a baking tray lined with a wire rack to cool while you finish frying the rest of the donuts. You could also roll up the scraps and turn them into more donuts to fry, but we opted to just cut them up and fry them as they were. Also, we ended up having to transfer the dough into the freezer between each batch because the dough was starting to stretch. Toss them in your cinnamon sugar and serve them up with some warm apple cider. Here we are, we did it. We made our apple cider donuts from home. One single donut. <laughs> A lot of work for one donut. <laughs> Seriously though, I was expecting this recipe to be pretty difficult. I was worried about the dough because it's so sticky, mm -hmm. but we just stuck with the recipe. We trusted yeah. it and in the end, it was not too hard. Yeah, and because we substituted the sugar with maple syrup, we weren't really sure if it would work with the dough, but we think it turned out okay. We don't know yet because yeah. we haven't tasted it, but yeah. it looks like it worked. Yeah. And I'm super happy because honestly, I looked all over the internet for a recipe that wasn't loaded with sugar. And while this one is still pretty sweet, replacing the sugar with maple syrup, I think, is a healthier way to do it. And so I'm really hyped mm -hmm. that we could provide this new and improved recipe for you. Let's find out if it worked by giving it a taste. We got our donut, we got our warm apple cider that's literally steaming and burning my hand right now. <laughs> Lauren, break open that donut. Wow, the inside, I didn't even taste it yet, but the inside looks perfect. It's like nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Yes! No, it looks like a donut! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy when things look like how they're supposed to look. I know. All right, cheers. Yeah. Mm. Don't forget to lick your fingers. The cinnamon sugar. I would be grabbing your shoulder right now <laughs> because of how good it is, but I don't want to get sugar all over you. I just love sugar. <laughs> Everybody loves sugar. Yeah. But not too much. No. These are great. These are really good. The texture, it's so crispy and crunchy. I know, but the inside, it's not like it's dry and overcooked. It's like perfectly fluffy, a little bit moist. Oh, it actually is perfect, guys. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, and the flavor, it's got all that apple and just loads of cinnamon and spice. Mm -hmm. This is like fall in the shape of a donut. It is. Don't forget to take your little sip of cider. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I tricked you. <laughs> it takes so long for it to get to the top of the jar. I don't want like, to burn my tongue. The cider. I know, me neither. Then I can't taste the rest of the donuts. But oh no, that's a good temperature. Yeah, apple cider. Mm, warm apple cider with these donuts. All vibes are immaculate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that we decided to make these from home. Mm -hmm. Especially because they're like hot and mm -hmm. fresh. The ones like that you get from the farm. I know. They're always so good, but they're never you can completely tell that fresh. They're, they've been like sitting for at least a day. Yeah. yeah. Unless you go to a place where they're frying them right in front of you. Yeah. Usually they're like a day old. Yeah. This is super worth it. You should definitely try it at home. Mm -hmm. It's like, the ingredients are pretty cheap. Yeah. It's pretty easy to make. You can make a day of it, have some fun, make some donuts. I don't know, I feel like this would be like a fun family activity or like with your boyfriend or something. I don't know. Not that we did that. <laughs> <laughs> Not that this whole show is just our way of doing things together for fun. <laughs> Thanks again for watching the show. As always, we really appreciate it when you hit that like button and when you subscribe. And if you remember, if you really want to see these videos, hit that notification button as well. We noticed that not enough of you are watching our videos and uh, it is your job to watch our videos for us. That is your responsibility and you need to do better at watching our videos. Mm -hmm. That's all we have to say. I'm not mad, I'm just a little disappointed. So. <laughs> 
Yeah, you're Do gonna better. you're gonna have to make it up to us, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks though. We really do appreciate it, and we will see you guys next time. Peace.